What up guys, welcome to the Drone Zone, and I'm seriously excited about this. This is FlyPro's new X Jaguar, um, which is a racing drone that they've produced. If you've been with me for a while, you may have seen that I did a review of the FlyPro X Eagle, which was this awesome autonomous camera drone that followed you around. This is their latest drone, and it is a bit of a beast. Um, it's an entry into the racing drone category, obviously, as you'll be able to tell. Um, we've got a lot of good specs on here. We've got a Runcam Swift lens, a huge 100C 4S battery, um, this sort of 8-in-1 tower uh, with the ESCs, the flight control, and transmitter and stuff um, and it looks like a really really decent drone so we're going to go ahead and uh, open it up take a look at what's inside uh, because this is as you'll be able to tell unassembled uh, so this is going to be the build video and then we're going to attach a um, transmitter onto the next one um, the next video that I do um, and then that one will be where we fly and test it out Okay, so this thing really does have some serious specs. We've got the video transmitter here um, with a built-in on-screen display, and this is actually switchable from 25 to 600 milliwatts. Um, so people in the UK will be able to use this legally, uh, and people in other countries who want a higher power rating uh, will be able to use this as well. So that is a really fantastic thing. It's built in into the tower, um, so there's not going to be any sort of chance of this being damaged. Um, because it's going to be external from the tower, uh, so that is going to be nicely housed. We've got this 4-in-1 ESC with the XC60 plug, and this is awesome because it's uh, BL Heli, um, uh, so that's really cool, and that is again built into the um, tower. And finally, we've got the Seriously Pro Racing F3 flight controller, which is again built into the tower. So this is all sort of one core module, um, and then obviously you're going to have to put your... Um, transmitter on here as well for your radio. We've got these, um, not DAL props, I think they're just unbranded props, uh, but tri-blades nonetheless, which is all the rage now. We've got this awesome looking Fly Pro motors, uh, which are actually red topped as opposed to red bottoms, uh, and these, as you'll be able to tell, are 2300 kilovolts. So these should um, provide some serious power. We've also got the uh, Runcam Swift camera, which is tried and tested, um, and just pretty amazing. So uh, that's really cool that it comes with this. I really like that, because um, that's a, a really good camera. We've also got this pigtail antenna for the um, video transmitter uh, for the Runcam. Um, not sure how well this is going to perform. Might have to replace it with a Triumph or something like that, uh, but we'll see that in the proper review video. Okay, so here are some of the more components. We've got the arms, uh, we've got all the screws and standoffs and bits in here. Uh, we've got obviously the big battery, um, a battery strap in here, the motor sort of standoff things, um, and then all the necessary wires and cables. Um, and then a bit more of the carbon fiber frame in there. So let's take it all out and give it a build. Okay, so here are all the components. You can see why it's called the Jaguar because we've got these awesome anodized uh, aluminium plates uh, which will house the camera and sort of be the main part of the body. Uh, so this is really awesome. You've got the two there that look like the Jaguars. We've also got these sort of uh, footprint or paw print um, ends of the arms, um, and that's also pretty awesome as well. Um, the only thing is, these are all the components. There are no instructions. There's no building instructions. There's no wiring instructions for any of the soldering parts that are needed. Um, so this is really going to be a complete from scratch build. Uh, so if you've got no idea, be sure to watch this video um, because... I'm going to be showing you how to assemble it basically, even though I've got no instructions myself. Okay, so starting with the forearms, you want to bring those together and then you're going to place uh, this square piece of uh, carbon fiber on the top of it like that. It doesn't matter which way around it goes because it's symmetrical. Um, and then this is going to follow uh, the directions, the diagonal cross um, of all these screw plates and that is going to go on there like that. So there are eight holes that you need to fill and there's a bag with eight black screws in it. Uh, so you're just going to go and pop these in one, two, three, four, and then the four in the center. So the aluminium base plate is threaded, uh, so you can just screw directly into the base plate from underneath like this. So we'll go ahead and do that for all the remaining screws. Okay, so now we've got our sturdy base plate. Um, which is ready to be built upon. So now we're going to go ahead and add uh, the electronics tower. We're not going to solder this up in this video. Uh, I'll be doing that in the next video because um, this is just more of a build video. So this is going to sit, you'll see um, we've got the four corners here. This is just going to sit on these four here, um, just like that. And then you've got this little indent here for the battery to go on. That's going to go on there. And then we've got this pack with four really long screws um, and then different bits of standoff and nuts on the top. So these four long screws are essentially going to come up um, and then a standoff is going to separate each layer of um, this. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So there you go. We have the ESC 4-in-1 in the bottom and you'll see... Um, 
the flight controller actually has these pins on it um, and there are these little this little black bit on here where the pins go in um, but because these are all connected there's no need to solder anything up um, to connect these three they simply connect via the pins so you push them in uh, and the pins go on and then we'll put on the next standoff and then put on the transmitter and the on-screen display the pins connect and that is that done that's our tower done uh, we'll come back and solder it all up in the next video and put the motors and escs on um, but now we can attach these uh, two final bolts on the top and then that is the uh, power board done and that is everything you need apart from um, obviously uh, your transmitter okay so next we're going to build uh, the sort of jaguar head bit where you get this um, another piece of carbon fiber and you attach it into these two bits here with the circle at the bottom because that is where the video transmitter is going to go out so it's not too hard to push in it is a little stiff um, when you're first pushing it in uh, so that second one is going to go in there but first we've got to add the LED strip in so the LED strip then goes onto that bottom bit there um, like that and I think it's got a buzzer on here as well which is quite useful so now you want to hold these all together upright and then add on the second piece okay so next for the head you want to get these two um, long ones with the four screws in there this is basically going to secure the head together um, so these are going to go one is going to go there at the front uh, and then one is going to go there at the back just behind the LED strip okay so there we go that is now the head built uh, minus the camera which we've still not attached um, but we'll probably do that in the next video just go ahead and tighten that up a little bit. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is um, use this bag that just has two nuts and two red nuts and bolts in it. Um, feed these two through these holes here um, and then attach the bolt on the other side loosely. So we can now go ahead and attach this on. This simply slots down. Um, okay, so that is um, very tricky to get on, but you need to just basically maneuver it so that it's underneath this screw here um, and then hold the screw in place and tighten it back down. Okay, so now the head is attached and you can see um, that it is held in place by these screws here. You'll see we've also got holes um, where we need to put all the attachments um, and on the other side we've got one uh, to attach the fly controller to our computer. So that's the basic body of the X Jaguar done. Uh, in the next video we'll put on the motors, uh, the ESCs, solder things up and then put on the camera um, and then give it a test as well. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this uh, video um, just showing you how to build this um, even though it's a little bit wonky, uh, I'll need to attach that on better. Um, so yeah, be sure to subscribe, uh, stay tuned for the next build video, um, and I'll see you next time.